Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So we are back with another interview experience. In this video, we are going to talk about the interview experience of Infosys. So for that, I have invited Satish on my YouTube channel. He has recently been selected for the role of system engineer in Infosys. So we'll be knowing more about his journey, the rounds that he has been through. Right. So make sure to watch the complete video if you are preparing for the same. This video will be really helpful for you. But before proceeding further, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel and make sure to join our Telegram community as well. So yeah, I believe that's all from my side, Satish. You can start with your introduction now. Uh, hello, ma'am. Hello to all. First of all, I would like to thank you, Soumya, ma'am, for providing me this opportunity to share my interview experience with you guys. I am Satish Mishra from 21 Pass Out Batch. Electronics and Communication Branch. I am recently selected in Infosys for System Engineer role, and I am currently pursuing my uh, I am currently pursuing my uh, training in Java technology. Okay, okay, great, Satish. Uh, so, Satish, you got this opportunity on campus or off campus? Um, I had applied off campus for this uh, Infosys exam. Okay. So, how many rounds were there for you? Uh, there were two rounds, ma'am. Uh, first, there is a written round where there are five sections like logical uh, reasoning and mathematics aptitude, uh, verbal English, uh, puzzle solving, and uh, Java like technical questions. Okay, okay. And then it, after clearing that, I I will be appearing for the uh, interview round, which is both technical and HR. Okay. So these were the rounds for you. So can you let us know about the difficulty level for the written assessment that you mentioned and also how you did the preparation for written assessment? Yeah, ma'am, I had written some previous year's questions of Infosys exam and some previous year's interviews and uh, I also watched the videos of previous year's question papers and the difficulty which I met in puzzle solving questions. Uh, there's a little bit moderate to easy questions in the exam but puzzle questions are little hard to solve and some technical questions also. Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously puzzle questions uh, are little bit tricky and you need more practice, more practice on them. So yeah, they are tricky. Even I have gone yeah. through them when uh, this exam and everything was going on. So I was going through them. So yeah, I believe yeah, they were tricky. Uh, rest, as you mentioned, so yeah, the overall difficulty, it always uh, relies from easy to moderate level as well. So, uh, Okay, when you got to know that uh, you you are shortlisted for the interview? Uh, Ma'am, on 10th of March, I had written my exam and on approximately one week, after one week, I had a mail that you have got selected for the interview round. And on 22nd of March, uh, the interview was being scheduled. Okay, so you got to know uh, like few days before your interview. So yes. I believe that you must be doing the preparation and all those things. So can you, can you let me know the resources that you followed for the preparation, what you were actually preparing for the interview? Ma'am, the resources which I had followed that uh, I have studied from the, uh, some websites, some technical questions, some technical uh, topics like Java, C++ and DBMS, SDLC. And whenever I got nervous, like for fearful for the interview exams, I would like to watch your videos, your uh, uh, previous student uh, experience for the interview. They boost up my confidence and it helps me a lot to crack the interview. Thank you so much, Satish. I'm glad that my content helped you. Uh, so, okay. So now let's jump to the interview part itself. So like how your interview went, how many questions were there for you and yeah, so you can start. Yeah, ma'am, it was a good experience uh, for the interview since I was nervous, but uh, the interviewer was a uh, humble and uh, he's, he, he's a well, well dressed man. Like he has asked some technical questions also and some uh, HR questions also, some real time questions. The technical questions are first, he asked me for the brief introduction and then he asked me the language would, in which would, I would like to prefer to give the answer. I had choose the Java. Then he asked me the uh, specifications of Java, Java difference between C and Java. He asked me the hash map, what is hash map, 
and uh, he asked me like uh, what is uh, operator overloading and operator overriding these were the questions in which some of the questions i had answered and some of i was forgot okay okay so yeah the one thing the last thing that you mentioned so guys you can see it's fine if you are not able to answer one or two questions mm -hmm. so uh, don't be nervous don't think that you won't be selected or so right wait for the results what happened that students become restless itself than if they are not able to answer one or two questions so that's totally fine so satish you mentioned about the technical questions so there were hr questions as well for you yes ma'am uh, in hr questions he had asked me that being from non technical background like being from ec and non programming why would you like to come to the it sector and uh, what is your strength what are your weaknesses what are your short term goals and long term goals mm -hmm. and uh, one real time question he has asked me that was a tricky that he has asked that uh, what makes you uh, extraordinary from others what makes you extraordinary from others mm -hmm. uh, he i think he is trying to find me some unique in me right. So for this question, uh, guys, uh, the question that you mentioned, Satish, so that is pretty interesting. Uh, when uh, the interview is trying to compare you with others, so if I was there at your place, so I would suggest for this question that you can frame the answer anyhow, but don't to start comparing yourself from others because yes. we don't know what skill set they do have, where do where they do stand, right? We don't know, so you can't put the comparison that I'm better than them or or whatever you want to mention. That's that's what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, and now then he asked me to uh, question for me. What are the questions for me to him? Then I asked him that what is the work culture of Infosys, and in what uh, technologies or language should I start uh, giving my time so that it could be helpful for me in training, and uh, that will be make more uh, productive. me in production then he uh, started telling about his experience and his knowledge that's all man okay okay and the for last question also uh, that satish mentioned like interviews do ask this question that do you have any questions for them or so so don't be blank or say i i don't have any question well that is also fine it won't affect your interview but even just to show that yes you are interested to be a part of the company you can put uh, you can ask at least one question like as satish asked about the work culture and the technology so like this you can also ask any of the questions so that would show like that will be like uh, interview will come to know okay you are interested to be a part of the company that's why you are trying to explore about the company right so yeah satish i believe this was all from my side these were the questions that i was willing to discuss with you but before wrapping up the video so i would like to ask you that if you have any message or any advice to the juniors to the audience that is currently watching the video yes ma'am uh, in interview i had uh, observed that the most important thing is the first experience first impression like uh, how you uh, represent yourself in front of the interview you will be well dressed uh, formally dressed and be confident the most important thing is that your confidence is most important than your knowledge mm -hmm. yes okay great great advice i even i do believe the same so thank you so much satish for accepting my invitation and sharing your interview experience with us i believe that it would be helpful for all of the people watching the video so thank you so much satish have a great feature yes yes have a nice day